Hey everyone, Sid Rotten here from Rotten Pop, welcoming you to my newest review. Uh, this one is for the Scarlet and the Black uh, World War II movie uh, featuring Gregory Peck and Christopher Plummer, but I'm going to leave that for the review. I'm going to let you know right now that you can stick around after the video to get two bonus videos um, pertaining to the movie. Uh, so stick around, listen to Rotten Pop's review, and then remember to leave a comment below. Check you later. Just to answer. I'm afraid I cannot give my permission. The Scarlet and the Black is an Italian-slash-American co-production that was a made-for-TV movie directed by Jerry London. It was written by David Butler and is based on the novel The Scarlet Pimpernel of the Vatican by J.P. Gallagher. The film stars Gregory Peck and Christopher Plummer. But also a good supporting cast with John Gilgood, Raph Vallone, Kenneth Colley, and Walter Gotell. It was produced by ITV and CBS and initially aired on CBS on February 2, 1983. This is a good picture. Gregory Peck does a tremendous job as Catholic Monsignor Hugh O'Flaherty, who is being put under a lot of pressure by the occupying Nazis in Rome during World War II. The sinister Christopher Plummer plays opposite Peck as a Nazi officer that grows increasingly frustrated with the amount of escaped prisoners. Taking Refuge in the Vatican and John Gilgud does an amazing job as Pope Pius XII. He looks just like the man. Oh, did I not mention that this was based on a true story? The film has a considerable amount of interesting story to match its veteran actors. It's a longer film, but the pacing is not an issue. The issue comes with the budget. It's clear they were working with limited funds. It's a TV movie and that's obvious from the beginning but it's still a good one. My favorite part was the end of the film where the Nazi comes to the Monsignor to beg for forgiveness. It's a very powerful scene with a very satisfying resolution. I had a good time watching The Scarlet and the Black, it was more engaging than I would have expected. It's a long one that's for sure clocking in at 147 minutes. I did find it interesting that the main crux of the film is the Catholic Church and the Vatican concealing Allied troops that had fallen behind enemy lines but also many Jews who were escaping prosecution. However, the film failed to show much of that and focused more on the American and British troops being saved. Very odd choice there. And the music by Ennio Morricone just didn't fit. But overall this is a great picture that should be more well known than it already is. Rotten Pop's giving it 3 stars. Check it out! Welcome back to television, because recently we saw him, of course, in the wonderful role of Abraham Lincoln in The Blue and the Gray. Now he's a Monsignor in The Scarlet and the Black. Colonel, do I get the feeling that you'd like to put a crimp in my social life? Damn you and your social life! You stay behind that white line and you'll spend the rest of the war in Regina Chelly prison. Well, the way the war is going, that might not be long at all. You listen to me, priest. No, you listen to me. I'm from a neutral country. I have diplomatic immunity. I am a member of the Holy Office of the Catholic Church. You cannot tell me what to do. I own Rome. Not you. Not the Pope. Just because you wear a frock, it won't protect you. Remember your gunner on a priest. I do remember him. And so does every person in Italy who understands the meaning of freedom. How do you like the fast pace of television? You're more comfortable, I think, with the slower pace of the movies, but we really move yeah, on. Yeah, but maybe it's better to be a little uncomfortable now and then. Um, what you have to do to keep up with the pace of television is put in a lot of hours of preparation so that you don't need so much the experimentation and the trying and the discarding of rehearsal on the set because in television that's considered wasted time when the cameras are not turning you're wasting time but we made up for it in many ways we got together in Rome Chris Plummer and the director and I and and the lady Olga Carlottis and rehearsed on Saturdays and Sundays so we were pretty pretty well set and we were able to go and do four or five important scenes a day 
where you do one or one and a half in a feature film. Right. Well, we'll be looking forward to his performance now, February the 2nd, right. Right? right? As he plays the Monsignor in The Scarlet and the Black here on 1011 Strong. Mr. Peck, a pleasure. Thank you. Sorry. Thank you very right. much. And 1011 Morning continues. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to learn more about the resistance movement during the Second World War, the Library of Congress suggests these books. Resistance by Michael R. D. Foote, When Compassion Was a Crime by Heinz D. Runa, and The Assisi Underground by Alexander Ramati. These and many other good books on the subject are available in your local library and bookstore. They'll be happy to help you read more about it. Thank you. Well, thank you for watching that review. Remember to like, subscribe, and hit that little bell icon and leave a comment below. And uh, we'll see you next time.